after school Satan club sparks outrage. So nothing like some good old satanic panic. Okay. The Satanic Temple affiliated program, the quote unquote after school Satan club, has recently sparked a bit of satanic panic in the small town of Lebanon, Ohio. The pushback against the After School Satan's Club occurred recently, even though the club has existed around the nation for years. In 2016, Satanic Temple's co-founder, Lucian Graves, an announced that they would create an alternative to the evangelical and fundamentalist Christian After School Club called the quote-unquote Good News Club, with plans to operate in any school where the Christian Good News Clubs meet. Parents were also outraged in uh, Moline, Illinois, after flyers about a Satan's club began circulating in the school. One parent expressed frustration on a line asking, how is this even a thing? Who approved this? On January 20th, the city school district of Lebanon, Ohio, released a statement supporting the after school Satan club in response to the concerned parents, stating, quote, the district does not and is not legally allowed to discriminate against any groups who wish to rent our facilities, including religiously affiliated groups. This is so great. I love it. You want religion in school? You want religion for children? Well, here's what you get. Here's what you get. Yes. <laughs> so this is I, a case of your own medicine. Huh, yeah. I love this story because um, they specifically said that, um, okay, so you public schools around the country are allowing this Christian good news, good news club to meet. Um, so anywhere where this club meets, you can file information. You can ask the satanic temple to go create their own club at that same school. So what happened at the school in Illinois and what happened at the school in Ohio is that there were parents who noticed that this good news club was distributing materials at their children's school. And so they informed the satanic temple and then they went through the process of application, uh, approval, all this stuff to, to get an alternative. So the whole idea for, from the TST or the satanic temple is to provide an alternative to children. And, um, I love it. Um, we can look at their um, website if we want, because it's one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Yes, um, I'm going to show I'm going to show that. But I, I want to like, what was that one parent was saying, like, who approved this, right? Um, how, yeah, assuming, how is this even a thing? Who approved this? Yes, but like, assuming she's like one of the I don't know, Christian parents, I want I, I wish I could respond to her like you did. You did like yeah. why? Where were you when they were handing out like religious Christian pamphlets to children after schools and stuff? Right? Where you know you approved this, so here the, here it is. Like when you when you were pushing for religion for being pushed to kids, you thought that everybody would just go along with just it being that your religion, the religion that you approved. I also want to respond to this in the live chat. So blank's name, I don't know. It's, I don't know if you said like, no religion in school. Like, I don't know if you guys understand the point of this. This is like the best. This is not like a serious religion. This is, I mean, this is legally it's a religion, but technically it's a way to come everywhere where religion is not supposed to be. This is the best force in the United States to go and use the satanic pa uh, panic as a way to be like, well, here we are, here's religion. You know what I mean? That's the entire point of this, right? To be because, fair, hmm. blank name may be referring to the Christian club. Yeah, yeah. But in case, like, I, I'm, I'm still going to use, uh, take advantage of his comment to make this point, okay? Because a lot of people are like, why are you guys approving religion in school, okay? This is like, we had other alternatives to make this point, like to show people how important secularism is. Um, like Christians also get re really pissed when, when you all of a sudden have Islam, right? Uh, in school, like they're like, oh, we need to have religion for our kids or in school or in like government buildings. And then all of a sudden you have Islam there. People are like, okay, maybe not like that, right? So you're like, well, I mean, that's funny and all when they have that reaction when Islam is there, but we don't want Islam there either, <laughs> right? So, I mean, Islam is like a serious religion, okay, like Christianity, okay? So we don't want to make the point for why secularism is important, by spreading Islam, okay? And the other method was like the flying spaghetti monster and stuff like that. 
However, that that one is too obvious of a joke for Christians to be like, like if you like start teaching kids about like I don't know the flying spaghetti monsters, they're not gonna get up. They're not gonna be like, oh no, keep religion out of schools. We don't want the flying spaghetti monster. They're gonna be like, what the hell is this? Okay, but the satanic temple, that's how you do it. That's how you do it because we don't take it seriously as a religion, but they do. <laughs> okay, so they're like, what now? Save the children. And then all of a sudden become secularists. They're like, you know, they actually see the point in secularism, right? Um, and also, you want to read this comment? D is saying, this organization is making a difference. I am proud to be a member. Great. You're talking about the Satanic Temple. Um, blank name, you, I know, like, okay, so Blank name is saying, I was, I was talking about the Good News Club. I, I still wanted to use your comment as a way to make that point. So I I, I took it, you know, I, and I, if I misused it, I'm not sorry. Okay. But let me actually bring their website because Susanna prepared this for us to show before uh, to see <laughs> education of Satan. So, oh, my God. This, yeah. Oh, wait, where did it go? So this is what they're um af they're so the part of the cute. website that's dedicated to the after school satan club looks like it's so cute wait no go up to the oh. top because i love their mascot it's like a little cute like goofy little satan with a little scholar hat on like graduation cap like he's got his fingers up like he looks so cute and then i love educating with satan <laughs> Remember, if you do uh, one finger, that's Islam. If you do two, that's Satanism, apparently. <laughs> okay. So this is Tawheed. This is Allah is one, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is the Satanic Temple. Um, yeah, this, I like the goat more, like, you know, you, when you think like a Satanism and you think about like the goat is always something very serious and something very ominous, you know, and like, like looking something like creepy, right? Like when you see like the goat, symbol in anything satanic related like in movies or in like i don't know there's always something like mysterious and dark but look at this go to the seat and they have the satanic logo here it's so adorable I know. <laughs> well, I the, graduate, to... the graduate thing and it's it. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's a, he's a scholar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think so, we're enjoying this more than the kids. But yeah, go ahead. I know, right? I so when yeah. we during Christmas time we talked about how in um, some Midwestern state, I can't remember which one, there was a display in the Capitol building's rotunda for um, it was like baby Jesus, except it was baby Satan. And I remember how you didn't like their baby Satan because it looked like a gross little like just straight out of the womb goat fetus and you're like no like this should be cute because this is actually appealing to kids this would actually like trigger conservatives more which is the it, the purpose of what the satanic temple does is to be provocateurs and Th that would actually upset them more because it would be such a more obvious ploy to get children interested, which is the whole like focus around satanic panic is this um, over uh, fixation or like a n not so reality based fixation on protection of children. Because of course we all care about the protection of children, obviously. Um, but, you know, uh, that's kind of one of the ways to, like the soft white underbelly of conservative propaganda is save the family save the children which is their cover for a lot of the other restrictive policies that we don't like or um bad teachings that we don't like and um i i thought that this was a perfect example of what armin was talking about like this is what we want this is what we're talking about um I also really like what they say. So it says, after school Satan Club mission, proselytization is not our goal. We're not interested in converting children to Satanism. The after school Satan Clubs will focus on free inquiry and rationalism, the scientific basis for which we know what we know about the world around us. We prefer to give um, a pre children an appreciation of the natural wonders surrounding them, not a fear of everlasting otherworldly horrors which I okay, thought was beautifully wow. put. 
this is so great. I'm so in favor of all of this. And also, this it's also very clear at the top that this is a, in reaction to the Good News Club, right? Like, this is not about, like, anybody can see this is not about, like, promoting a religion. This is actually promoting, like, science and appreciation for, you know, nature and stuff like that. But it just gets a satanic branding just to get these Christians worked, you know, understand, you know, an understanding that if you want religious privilege, then you have to accept religious privilege for anything that could legally be identified as religion, right? This is like, you know, it has all the brandings of religion without all the, without actually being religion. It's, this is promoting science and this is fantastic. It's, it's, it's like fighting for secularism while also not, you know, trying to convert kids into like, like promote any form of religion because the kids could be confused. The kids don't understand the difference between religion and an active fight against religious, you know, in, spreading you know challenging secularism so they're not like going to the kids and be like hey become satanist and that's not what they're doing this is fantastic like there's no there's no reason why not to support this well at least like right, right now i don't know mm -hmm. i don't know what's happening in the future what i think is hilarious so this is um this is a quote i have to read Patty Garbery, no, uh, Gary Bay, founder and executive director of American Heritage Girls, a Christian alternative to the Girl Scouts, told Fox News Digital in an email, quote, at a time when youth are experiencing a mental health pandemic, it is outrageous that a school district would allow a club based on the master of confusion. <laughs> it's like, this is amazing. <laughs> It's very unfair, by the way, to Lucifer to call him the master of confusion. Okay, like just look at the record. Okay, like God said, this apple will kill you. Okay, this is bring you death. And Satan was like, it's not, not, not true. In fact, if you eat that, knowledge is going to make you look like gods, right? And look what happened. Look what happened to the human race through knowledge right like they're becoming like and they didn't die and they have progressed because of knowledge so who was the who was the confusing like if you want to justify what, what god was saying is true that would become more confusing the satan is satan was like nah -uh, and he was the the more clear yeah anyway so yeah um yeah. I think I want to read one more quote. So for the school okay. in Illinois that was having a similar backlash, um, the, what was, well, let me, her position, the superintendent of the school system said in an online note to parents that the flyers aren't distributed to students they are just placed in the lobby. And then she made some other points in her memo. And there's one that I think is very good um, or two. Um, the district approves facility use agreements with local churches um the board of education policy allows for community use of our facilities since we have allowed religious entities to rent our facilities after school hours we are not permitted to discriminate against different religious viewpoints and finally to illegally deny their organization slash viewpoint to pay rent to a publicly funded institution after school hours subjects the district to a discrimination lawsuit, which we will not win, likely taking thousands upon thousands of taxpayer dollars away from our teachers, staff, and classrooms. I was like, mm -hmm. you know, great. Um, a lot of these people are going to continue to freak out regardless, but I think at least they can be like, okay, well, we don't want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah did we did we read that part it said can yeah. we hear the quote from lucian at the end of the article um are you oh wait just a second let me pull it up it's it's really good um sorry one moment oh my god freaking pop all right i'm gonna read this one while you do that aj is saying this yeah, works very it. well in florida okay well done. i'm reading AJ is saying this worked very well in Florida when a Christian group wanted an after school group uh, in order to stop the satanic temple. I think that's what it is. The satanic temple from starting their group. The Christian group withdrew their application. Yes, they withdrew. Okay, that's see, it works, guys. It works. You want Christianity in school? You have to get this as well. All right. 
All right, so I'm gonna read. So you're still doing that, so I'm gonna read this. D is saying, but Allah is the best deceiver. This refers to uh, the Quranic verse that actually calls Allah the best deceiver, and uh, Allah brags about being the be best deceiver in the Quran, which is like you would think, like whoever says that Allah is the best deceiver, you would think that it would be like some anti. Islamic, I don't know, Christian parents who were like, oh, Allah is like the devil. He's the deceiver, deceiver. But no, this is actually what Islam says about Allah. Yeah. All oh, right. D is mentioning that I actually already read that quote. And Kala oh, was saying, don't they worship Satan? No, what they no. worship just is a word that sounds the right. same. This is ISIS propaganda. What are you talking it about? It actually <laughs> is. It actually I mean, that, is. Yes. Not that there's anything wrong with like worshiping, I mean, not really worshiping Satan, but the way like symbolically the way Satanic Temple does it, right? That's actually, yeah. What are the actual people who actually think Satan is real and they worship him? They call, they're not called uh, Satanists. They call Satan. Uh, it's else. the Church of Satan. The Church of Satan. Okay. So the, te the Satanic Temple is the one that is atheistic, the one that doesn't actually believe in Satan. So, that is the satanic temple if it has temple in the name that's the approved version of it that's the one that is using it symbolically and these people actually don't believe in satan but the church of satan are the loons who actually believe that satan is real and worthy of worship that is like so church of satan if it has church in it no if it has temple in it yes okay <laughs> what's interesting oh, is interesting. the church of satan was actually like founded in san francisco i believe <laughs> Yeah, I have their, I have their, yeah, but... oh, yes, I was trying to remember his name, Anton LaVey, that's right. So what mm -hmm. do you think of the Satanic Bible? They have different tenets than the Satanic Temple. Like, we're both very on board with the Satanic Temple's tenets, which are fantastic. What do well, you I mean, think of the Satanic really, Bible? I mean, it's more, it's very, like, I'm not... If you're into like symbolism and like talking about magic and stuff, read it. But most of most of it, I just I just symbolically I enjoy it more. That I I I don't think it's worth the time actually going through it. I mean, if you're into that, you're into that. But like, given that it's not serious, I don't think I I just like to I just prefer them doing their thing and then everybody benefit from it more than getting too much involved with it. Right? There's nothing. I mean, it's better than the Bible, <laughs> the Christian Bible, but there's nothing very like, there's no, there's no, yeah, there's nothing very, anyways, I don't want to diss them after everything you do. But anyway, <laughs> if you're into that, if you're into that, you know, then it might be interesting. I just don't have the time for it. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 